Feels good to be back in the Subaru. Look at the license plate. Are oh, we going to race another bus? So the PTG on that is sub seven. <laughs> Oh yeah, cold start today keeps the doctor away, huh? Surround sound. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Hello. Good morning. Can I jump in? Yes, Have a look. just take a look. Awesome, never been in one before. What's the 950? Is that like the mileage that you can do on a tank? Uh, it's RPM right now. Oh, so how yeah. stupid of me. So when I push this, ooh, okay. Yeah, that's like, I still need to wake up probably to understand the concept of uh, cars. You can push this, it's nice carbon fiber. Ooh, performance mode. That's cool, it's very nice. Awesome. So why are we taking this for a test drive? Soon. <laughs> Soon. Nice. Well, that, that's like really lightweight. You can see the speaker. Yeah, just, just grab the door. It's full lightweight. Oh, yeah. Wow. Is this... So what edition is this? Uh, the Premier Edition. Ah, okay. So the very so first one. So this one is right now fully spec'd. Nice. So full everything. Yes. Race car for passenger. Very nice seats, I must say. Very nice seats. Yours? Yes. How is it? Uh, Very cool. Very cool. Well, you heard it. We're gonna have a like a real test drive. I told you yeah, in yeah, yesterday's yeah. vlog. So if you want us to do something special with it, apart from the lap, we'll try to do a lap, but uh, something else on top. Let us know. IKEA trip. A bit played out. Ah, oh, it even has a horsepower meter. It has less than 5 horsepower now. Oh, 7.20! Yay! Oh my god, look at the race, Matisse. It's so fabulous. Yeah. Uh, new interior disorder, so new bucket seats. And new wheels. Apparently, finding proper aftermarket wheels for a Matisse is a real challenge. I'm very excited to see this baby transform. I mean, it's already like the beast of the green hell. You can drift with it and alone later. Ah, Lolvo. We are going back in the GT86 again with their amazing lap counter. The lap counter from yesterday is still on. Mm, some canards. Done with the laps, and now we're swapping one boxer engine for another boxer engine, and also I believe the GT86. Oh, also another boxer engine. But no, we're not going out with this. We're going out in that, and just why I want to say that GT86 also has a Subaru engine because uh, well, the chassis was developed by the Toyota, the engine by Subaru, and now we're going in the real one. You saw it already in the previous vlogs, the Spec C Type RA, and I get to drive it. We're just going on public roads because the track is shot and once it's open again I have to be on the track so but who knows maybe later we will see that but now let's hop in Oh yeah Oh that's fancy like, Oh friends friends <laughs> Frenemies yeah. Frenemies Okay, it feels good to be back in the Subaru. Actually, I've never been in the Subaru on the right-hand drive, but I had plenty of practice with uh, with Bambi and uh, and Matisse and oh, there's a taxi. 
Ah non, oui. Chez DM. Chez DM, yeah. yeah. Oui. Getting used to the clutch. It takes some time to get used to the yeah, same yeah. I had the R34 GTR for a couple of days okay. and, and uh, I don't think it's some to get used to that. Then don't uh, have to slow down so much of the mass. I 
guess it's getting a bit loud, so let's enjoy the rumble. No, it's not loud anymore. But anyway, what I was saying is getting cheaper to run because uh, the car's not having to stop anymore, so you use less brake pads, less brake discs, and yeah, it's, it's awesome. Lightweight is everything, and going back to the main point, this car being lightweight and has plenty of torque and power is the turbo stock. Yeah. yeah the stock's twin scroll, so you have plenty of, uh, well, the range, you don't have turbo lag, you have all the power you need, and it's great. It's great. It's an awesome car. Yeah, it makes me miss my Subaru. So who knows, maybe one day. But first, yeah, thanks. Huge shout out to my dear friend Yuha on the passenger seat. The owner of this amazing car for letting me drive and remember why I love the Subaru this much. So yeah, maybe, maybe we, we will build one again. What are intercooler spray? Is this like stock on the car? Yeah, it's stuck in the car and it's automatic. It uses the engine intake sensor to calculate the engine temperature. Okay. And then it automatically starts spraying water on the cooler. Oh, that's nice. That was the first feature that was introduced on 22B, I think. Yeah, it yeah, was. Yeah, GC8 and then, uh, yeah, now here. Um, and, and nowadays we, they have it on the M4 GTS, which is like, no, it's a methanol injection, not something else. But uh, okay. yeah, still very cool. Um, yeah, what else should I say about the car? The gearbox, STI, so it's a uh, it's very short ratio, it, uh, yeah, it's uh, good. You can obviously install a short shifter, but this is more than enough already, short shifter would be overkill. AC, retrofitted, um, stock doesn't come with it. Of course the roof scope is like the best part. What do I say about 80 kilometers an hour? Uh, you should not open it above 80 kph. Uh, hmm. Or not really use it above <laughs> 80, 80 kph. Yeah, well, I guess this type of cars mostly go sideways in dirt anyway, so yeah. should be no problem. Yeah, and the, and the best part is a four-seater. You can take friends with you. For now. For now. Oh, you're gonna strip it? Yeah, I'm going to put a roll catch. Ah, well, I think that's a good thing. No, yeah. again. Yeah, thanks one more time. Amazing. No I really enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, who knows? Maybe one day soon again. Well, after driving JDM car, we need to have some JDM food, huh? There we go. Fast forward into the taxis to have a look how it's looking here. What's happening? If everyone's happy and excited. Oh wow, look at this, look at this, look at this. Look at that, that's badass. Are those stock wheels? I don't know, but wow. Wing game, massive one. So. <laughs> How was it? Yeah, it was good. It was great. Oh, it was okay. Awesome. <laughs> okay, okay. Bye. Bye. Oh, that's a nice car. That's a very nice car. Are there more cars? Do you offer more cars? Can you drive it? Can I drive it with a friend? Can I, can I, hmm, oh, can I drive this? <laughs> hmm, okay, can I, can, can I drive that one? Can I, can I? Yeah. I think I can. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Look at that, strip club racing, okay. Now fast forward to the Dorant Hotel because we're going to register for the Gran Turismo events train day of tomorrow and the day after tomorrow. And here is the spot of the day probably, RS 4.0. Worth a lot. And if he, and I'm pretty sure he will be taking it out tomorrow. Pretty ballsy. And he, here for two days. Yeah. Yeah, mad respect for doing that because obviously uh, the car is worth a lot and yeah, many people are just like flipping them. Yeah, can you call flipping cars the old cars? I don't think it's flipping the old cars. But yeah, they're just keeping them garages, waiting till the value rise. Oh, it's Mr. James Holm, the photographer. Oh shit, why? <laughs> That's nice too. Oh, the new Fiesta. Another hello to the Performante that was so early today, and just look at the license plate. Awesome. Reserved for Mr. Turnstrom. 
Another thing, there was another performant, a white one today, that got banned for doing 132 decibels on the track. And then they went to Ring Taxi and asked, how can you drive on and like getting banned? Well, because they leave the, the moat in Strada and not in Corsa. And then the exhaust valves are closed and not making that much sound. So in case you're owning a performante and coming to the Nürburgring, leave the exhaust in Corsa or you have to lift at the sound measuring points. Yep, there is that. <laughs> this ladies and gentlemen, you're probably gonna see it in the news in a couple of days or I don't know, maybe by the time this vlog gets released. It's a tuk-tuk from India imported into Sweden because Peter, the main organizer of Gran Turismo events, came in this morning and said, I'm gonna make a lap record on the Nürburgring. And we're like, well, you're a good driver, but you need to be more than just a good driver to do a lap record. What? He's like, I imported the tuk-tuk and I rented the track for my own for one hour. So whichever time I'm gonna set is going to be a lap record. What a baller. What a baller. Okay. So let's go. My name is Peter, Peter Turting. I do here some instructoring, but not tomorrow and also not the day after tomorrow. I do just the track work with you guys now because I'll be busy the other way. And I did the uh, racing that we did two years ago. I do you know the way? Again. Do you know the way? Do you know the way? I don't know the way. I don't know the way. Whoa, magic. Lauren, come on. I mean, don't make yourself feel too much at home. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh is it electric? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. yeah. It is electric. Oh, I I'm gonna drive now underneath the circuit. <laughs> and on the right is the most important part, the apex. Maybe his mic's broken. Yeah, why is he? Okay, let's go. We will enter the Nordschleife the on the fastest closed. part. It's touching our hood. It's a straight line. Are we going to race another bus? A bit like more. And also for tomorrow, in case of rain showers, you will do just the Nordschleife, the same version what we are driving now. Take the curb, take the curb. Also, here we do have a curb where you can cut or drive over very easy. Our bus driver will do this now. Yes. People don't call it anymore the Brünchen, they call it the YouTube corner. If you do have a crash or a spin here, you will be a YouTube star in a few seconds. And down there is the first jump. On the racing cars you have to brake before the jumps because otherwise they will lift and you jumped too far and you couldn't make any more than a front ender. <laughs> How would you rate it, this ride? Oh, it's the best one that we know. Oh, we passed it yet? Yeah. Uh, yeah, almost. BTG. Yeah, yeah, we passed it. Yeah. So, uh, BTG on that is 19 minutes. That's amazing. That's not bad. That's not bad. Oh, it's already dessert. <laughs> oh my god, it's so beautiful. Artichoke. Yum. All kinds of What do you got? Oh, Do you want me sub seven? No, it's a trophy. Oh, okay. 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 Good job, hey. You know that all the crashes are gonna happen next week on TF is because people want to try and win this. Yeah. I mean, this is. I think that. So, so basically, this is what you win if you get sub seven on TF. This is what you win. So, I just want to thank all my sponsors, everyone at Apex, Tag Hewer, the good guys. Your instructor. Couldn't do it without you. Five. <laughs>
Uh, your manager. Oh, the sub seven department. I can do that. Seven, seven, sub seven. Sub seven, sub seven. Sub zero. Sub zero.